using OCR with silk test. Uh, what I'll do here is uh, an installation of Textract into the Borland directory. If you do plan to use uh, Textract or the OCR tool with uh, 2003 or 2008 server, you've got to remember to disable the, uh, the data ex uh, execution uh, prevention uh, for exe GUI and Textra. Uh, then we'll copy the ocrtools.inc file into the projects folder of silk test. Uh, and add the OCR tools.inc to the runtime within SilkTest. And that is all you need to do to um, have the OCR tool up and running. Then we'll go ahead and record a script. Uh, the script will generate uh, coordinate clicks and we'll modify that script to use the OCR functionality. Uh, and the benefits of the tool, you know, certainly uh, there are objects that SilkTest doesn't understand. And you, what you can do is try to use the OCR tool to extend silk test into testing those objects that uh, are not currently supported. Uh, I'm going to test a, uh, um, an infragistics uh, tree control, uh, which we'll see just in a, in a minute or two. Uh, and it's fairly easy to set up, uh, as you'll see in just a moment. And I, I've installed it and given it to novice users, and they are able to use it and, uh, and make it work for them. OK, so let's jump into uh, uh, the installation. So the first thing I'm going to do is install Textract here. It's a very quick installation, only lasts about 30 seconds here. And I'm going to go ahead and browse to the Borland directory. And install the product. And that's all there is to it. It's going to try to fire off an email here. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and uh, dismiss it. So what we'll do here is with this dialog open, I'm going to go ahead and run the Textract MSVC example. And I'm going to do that purely to uh, build a, a, a font database. So what it's doing is it's looking at all the Windows fonts uh, and building a font pattern database from those fonts. Okay, so Textract is installed and ready to use. And now all I need to do is move the ocrtools.inc uh, to the appropriate folder, which uh, the default is the programs folder within SilkTest. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll jump over to SilkTest and we'll record against an application. So here is the application uh, that I plan to record against. And we'll go ahead and interact with this tree. And I'll go ahead and we'll just click into the tree and what silk test will record are coordinate clicks. And we'll paste those to the editor. And what I'm able to do is go in here and very simply, um, well before I do that I need to uh, uh, add the OCR tools to the uh, use files list and there it is right there and now if I type in OCR and the, the, the quoted string of the text I actually want to click on and I'll just do this for the rest of it here And this text that I'm typing is not case sensitive. Uh, I've designed it so that it's not case sensitive. All right. And if we go ahead and uh, run this script now, there to click on simple, then passing, then color, then types. So in review, uh, the installation. Uh, very quick and easy. Uh, the uh, the usage of the tool very easy to use by uh, recording the raw coordinate click, adding the letters OCR to the existing click method, and replacing the coordinates with the quoted string of the text you want to click on.